Well, my name is Gabe Zolna. You know, I went to uh, the web and did a little research. I wanted to get an idea as to what we get for our money. You know, like, for example, if you had a staff and you paid that staff $2,451,230 last year, you'd expect to get something from your staff, wouldn't you? Well, I certainly would. The problem is, our senators don't seem to care. John McCain, you know, the Arizona senator, he's been around the Senate for like 26 years. Well, that's what he paid his staff last year. $2,451,230. And the year before, it was pretty close. It was $2,549,156. And if you go to Google, it's all there. I mean, you can see all the way back. And what's scary is we got nothing for it. Because, you know, senators are, have an obligation, and there's a hundred of them. There's a hundred bozos like this. And their obligation is to do what? Their obligation is to uh, come out with a budget. They haven't done that in four years. Now, i got to admit, McCain, you know, he, he's like a glory hog. He likes to be in front of the camera or on the radio. I mean, he doesn't care. Either one sort of works for him. And the boys down here in Arizona, KFYI, they seem to like him. They invite him on quite often. And, you know, you see him on television. When anything happens, he's the first one there, you know, like, like one of these. I'm not making fun of the guy. It's not his fault that, well, he's a lousy pilot. That's why he's like that, I guess. But anyway, that's a different story. Uh, I just think it's, it's incredible how none of these senators, none of them, do anything. Now... If you take a look at the salary for McCain's staff and you multiply that times a hundred, that's a heck of a lot of money for nothing. Anyway, if we had an honest senator or an honest congressman that was willing to honor their oath of office, they would demand that Obama release his records from Occidental and Harvard. That's what they would do. They would demand that. We wouldn't allow someone like Sonia Sotomayor or like Elena Kagan to be on the Supreme Court, especially Elena Kagan, because, you know, she, like, buried his past. Now, so here you got a Supreme Court justice that knows her boss is a crook and knows that he's screwing up the country, and she's doing nothing about it. Hmm. Pretty strange set of circumstances. But you know what? It is what it is, and I think it's too late. Now, unless somebody can come out and prove, God bless Donald Trump, he tried. But if somebody come out and prove that this guy is ineligible, if that doesn't happen, he ain't leaving. Whether, you know, they get two-thirds majority in the Senate and the House, which I think they will, because that's why he's destroying the Republican Party. So in 214, they'll kick, you know what, they'll kick tushy and there'll be very few Republicans left. I think there's very few left right now. You know, I think a lot of them are like McCain. They're rhinos. They call themselves Republicans, but they're really not. Anyway, you might want to spend a little time on the web if you have access to a computer and take a look at what you find out about these senators. I've done videos on about five of them, I think. I'm going to do some more because it's really entertaining. I find it entertaining, and what's really incredible is the ones that I've done so far, none of them have worked in private industry, so none of them have a clue of what it is to have to make payroll, but they know how to take the payroll. That's their key. Good luck, folks. We need it.